All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mr. Benjamin, and I'm the presidential candidate of the fictional Common Sense People's Party. Now, yesterday, Tinubu wrote to the National Assembly seeking approval for a loan of 500 billion naira, and he said he wanted to use the loan to cater for the palliatives to cushion the effect of subsidy removal. And as soon as that news broke out, so many Nigerians condemned it. They said, you told us that in four weeks, the government saved 400 billion naira from removal of subsidy to prove that removal of subsidy is good. But just weeks later, government is saying they want to borrow 500 billion naira. This does not add up. Where is the money that you saved? And then he further infuriated the people when he said, out of that money, they will give 8,000 naira monthly to 12 million households. Not to individuals. Households, 8,000 naira monthly. And when we broke it down, it was very ridiculous. But many Nigerians even began to air their opinion that a more sinister possibility is that even that 8,000 naira we will not get to those households. I said, ah, Nigerians don't they wise. They said, now still the elites and political class go embezzle that 500 billion naira. And they never talk finish. The thing don't start with the happen. Out of the 500 billion, 70 billion naira, 70 billion naira has been allocated for National Assembly members alone. 70 billion. How many there be for National Assembly? Let's do a quick math. In the National Assembly, there are 109 senators and 360 House of Rep members, making a total of 469 Nigerians. There are 469 Nigerians in the National Assembly, and Tinubu is giving them 70 billion naira. If you divide 70 billion by 469, each of them will be getting 149 million. 253,731. And they say the program is supposed to last for six months. If you divide what they are getting by six months, 149 million, 243,731. Divide by six months, each of them will get 24 million, 875,621 naira monthly. One single person is to get 24 million. 875,621 monthly while a household in Nigeria how much they allocate for one household 8,000 naira nine they allocate for household you don't see Amber have you seen how little the APC government looks at Nigerians so if you're a common man and you are supporting this government you need to have your brain checked as soon as this fact surfaced, as if Nigerians planned it, people just began saying this can never be Peter Obi. That there is no way His Excellency Peter Obi amidst this present crisis of Nigeria, there is no way he would give 70 billion naira to 469 lawmakers to share. And Nigerians were so sure that Obi would never do such. Look at some of the opinions from Nigerians. This one was from Shehu Ghazali Sadiq. I love it when people from Arewa air their opinions about Peter Obi. He said, when Nigerians are calling for reduction of cost of governance, Tinubu approved 70 billion palliatives for legislators. This can never happen under Peter Obi. Tinubu is in Aso Rock to feed the Nigerian political elites. The people are second-class citizens. It's the animal farm. Are the people even second-class citizens? We don't even reach second. We are fifth-class, sixth-class, seventh-class citizens. In fact, we don't get class. The people are out of school children. <laughs> and this tweet by F.S. Yusuf says, Peter Obi would rather go any length than allow legislators get 70 billion extra to their budgets when they are just coming into offices of an already existing extravagance to represent a people who are statistically one of the poorest population. Never. This is stinginess he has. His mantra is the people first. Yes, that's what they call stinginess because Pito B's mantra is the people first. That's why they, they call him stingy man. Oh, Nigeria. And this tweet says, 
They approved 70 billion for themselves, approved 8,000 for you and your family. But they got their influencers talking about Peter Obi all day. They know you are not smart and will ask no questions. That is it. That is just it. Many Nigerians no get sense. And in other news, Tinubu allocates 500,000 hectares of land to unemployed Nigerian youths. <laughs> not Yoruba or Igbo or Hausa. Unemployed Nigerian youths. 500,000 hectares of land. They say, make una come out, go farm. Which work una they find? <laughs> Where farm they? You have seen it. Now they are approving 70 billion naira for lawmakers. But they are approving 500,000 hectares of land for youths to go and farm. And while you are on the farm, full and heads men go still come there. Come, cut, cut una. <laughs> and people began to mock those youths, especially many of them from the southwest that supported Tinubu, saying, have you now seen the plan that this man has for you? While other countries are going digital, bringing technology into mainstream governance, seeing how they can develop their youths, you know, to meet up with the standard of the world. Your own is saying you should go to the farm and go and farm. <laughs> <laughs> Look at some of the tweet reactions to that update. And this tweet from Marzi, he said, Agbado children thought he would give them properties owned by Igbos in Lagos. Little did they know they would need cutlass and hoe to walk the land under the Nigeria hot weather. <laughs> you all shouldn't worry. He has enough tramadol to go around. He is the real medicine man. Oh! And this tweet said, He has started acquiring land as usual. If they allow this man, he will own all the prime land in Nigeria. Someone that owns half of Lagos. Hmm. And this tweet said, By killing voters, tribalism, bigotry, religious sentiments, and buying the umpire with your drug money, you will remain the worst dangerous criminal that rose to power in Nigeria. Chai, this guy, the vex. So. And this one said, You won't be there till the end of the year. You will return the certificate of return. Hmm. That one a big prayer where every well-meaning Nigerian they pray right now. Anyway, you have seen it, and all these things are happy as it they come to the fore now because there is nobody that can claim that he does not see how things are unfolding under this government. It's just 46 days into this administration. And there is so much complaint. The people are tired already. Some are wondering, how are they going to get this to one year, let alone two, three, four years? It's already a dilemma for people. People are already falling into depression, anger. And we are saying to the judiciary that there is an opportunity for you to correct all this. And what we are asking you to do is not Ojoro or Uruwuru. We are saying there is a constitution and we have an electoral law. We are saying you should abide by it, which is the foundation of every good society. Translate this thing as a day without fear and without favor. We, now we be the people, we day your back. Nobody is greater than the people. Now, because say we know if we get justice from judiciary, that is why it is looking as if politicians are so strong. If the judiciary will stand their ground, no politician will be able to bully anybody. Because constitution now is supersede everyone. So we are expecting that the judiciary will stand their grounds and do the right thing. And return the mandate to His Excellency Peter Obi. But until then... <laughs> Make I still enter town. Make I go get some Ogbonge political news. We will not go like. Why? Because now, because of now, now I did here. So, don't go away. <laughs>